going to be a favorites video, so these are all of my current favorite products that I've been using and loving. I'm going to go through each item and explain why I love it. And if you've followed my videos for a while, you'll know that I always link everything on my website, which is the cashmeregypsy.com. So I will put the link to this exact blog post down below. But if you can't find it for some reason, go to thecashmeregypsy.com and all the information, all the colors, prices, everything will First be there. This product is this Bumble and Bumble shampoo called Sunday. Now, Sunday is designed to be used once a week. It's a clarifying shampoo, but I can use it maybe twice a week and it doesn't strip my hair or anything like that. It's really clarifying, cleansing. It's a good kind of detox for your hair. Maybe try it once a week and see how you like it. I notice a lot more volume after I use Use this shampoo and it really gets that gunk out. Some shampoos are not strong enough to get the dry shampoo, the hairspray, all of that stuff out of my hair and I noticed some residue. So love this. I've been using it religiously one to two times per The next hair product I believe I've talked about before but I'm not sure. This is the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine Repairing Shine Mist. And about two years ago, I was in a friend's wedding, and the hairstylist used this product on our hair to finish it off, and I loved it so much. I think this is my second or third bottle. You just shake it up, you can see that there's some gold shimmer in it. This smells incredible, like the most gorgeous, sexy fragrance ever. It's not too sweet, not too fruity, it's just a beautiful, sexy fragrance and it actually repairs your hair so you spray it over the top of your hair when you're done styling and it will give a little shimmer sheen make your hair look really healthy and shiny but it also is actually reparative so it's adding some good ingredients to kind of help repair damage. Now on to skincare. I think this is the fourth little sample bottle I've used of this Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Clearing Cleanse. It's strange because the cleanser is like a charcoal color. It's almost like a black cleanser which seems counterintuitive but you just put this over your skin when your skin is dry and you let it sit and then you la lather the rest of it with water on your hands and then scrub all over your face and it foams up really nicely. But it's almost like giving yourself a little mini mask before you cleanse. And I think that is the key to why it works. I noticed that I had less blackheads and less clogged pores and I have not gotten a facial in a while. So that shouldn't be the case. But I the only thing I changed was my cleanser, so I think it has to be this product. It's a great cleanser, I really like it, and if you have problems with blackheads or clogged pores, I would definitely give this a try and see if it helps you. The next skincare product is Biosance, the Revitalizer. Now, I talked about this in another video. I did kind of an informative video about it. Some of you liked it, some of you were like, no, I just want you to sit down and talk about it, but there is some science behind it, and I wanted to make that clear um, before I did a review on it or something more casual like this. So this is an ingredient that is found naturally in our bodies. It moisturizes our skin from the inside out. But they've made it into a beauty product so that you can apply it and still get the moisturizing benefits even as our bodies stop making this particular um, ingredient, squalane, I think that's how you say it, squalane, squalane. I've been loving this, especially at night. I will just coat my whole face and neck and lips with this product. I've also used it on cuticles and um, the extra part of it that I have, I will literally put wherever on my body because it's completely safe and it is a great moisturizer. Next I have some makeup products, the first being this NARS Oil Free Pro Prime Pore Refining Primer. That is a mouthful. I actually wasn't big on primers before I used this one. I would sometimes use them, but sometimes not. This is amazing. This airbrushes any fine lines, enlarged pores, and it makes your skin look really flawless before you apply your makeup. It also helps your makeup last longer. So it is definitely a go-to for me now. I hate applying my makeup without this and I'm almost gone. I can I can feel but this has lasted me since the middle of the summer so it is long lasting and it is a great product. The next product that I'm going to talk about is this Chanel blush. Now mine's in a weird case because when I went to the Chanel events in Paris, they sent a makeup artist to do our makeup and she gave me this because I loved it so much and this is, I'm not even going to try to say this because it's in French. It's a powder blush. It's like Jus Contrast 
de contrast. I don't know. So bad. Okay, but it's in the color number three, Broom Door. I will link it. Okay, I'll link it. I'll write the words so you can try to say it however you want to or however it's supposed to be pronounced. But what I love about this is that it's just the perfect color for fall. It's not too pink. It's not too coral. It's just a beautiful bronzy rose color. I have it on right now and I'm knocking everything over. It just kind of sculpts the cheekbones really naturally and it's just a beautiful beautiful color it has just a tiny bit of sheen to it but it's not shimmery it's just it's just perfect it's perfect my next favorite is the urban decay naked smoky palette this is so gorgeous i love all of these palettes and i will say that the naked 2 palette is my favorite so if you haven't gotten any naked palettes start with naked 2 because I think it's the most wearable. I love those colors the most. They're very beautiful, natural, taupe colors that you can also make smoky. But if you have a Naked palette and you're looking to expand your collection a little bit, I'm going to try not to blind you with the mirror, but this is the most gorgeous palette of these beautiful smoky colors, very wearable, and it comes with a brush and it's dual sided so you kind of have a fluffy end and then one that's more for really making a pretty line or smoking out a color in the corner but just really really gorgeous if you love makeup you need this palette my next favorite is a lip combo for fall and a lot of you have been asking about my lip color lately I think because I've been wearing more lip color lately and what I have on right now is Whirl, Max Whirl Liner, which I've talked about before on my blog, and then the MAC Brave lipstick over it with just a touch of this. And I might add this later, actually, because I just, I love these two in combination. So the first is this Clinique, I believe it's called Almost Lipstick, and it's a really kind of shiny sheer balm but it's not too sheer this definitely gives a lot of color to your lips this is in the color black honey and it's just so gorgeous it looks super dark but it's really not that dark on it's just like a pretty rose burgundy and my favorite thing about this is that you do not need to apply it perfectly you don't need to apply it with a lip liner it is dark it has some pigment to it but it's not one of those ones that you're gonna mess up and get kind of all over your lip line it's really easy to apply super moisturizing you don't need a lip gloss but if you want a little bit more sheen I just love this combination so this is the Giorgio Armani flash lacquer and it, this is in the number 600 okay so I tried to find this online to make sure it was still available and it is available some places but a lot of places it's back ordered or out of stock I noticed online that number 607 and 608 are very similar to this color they have some shimmer kind of that light burgundy look I don't know if they're the same but I think it would be worth it if you can't get your hands on the 600. I would order 607 or 608 and just see if you like it, if it's the same thing or really similar. And if not, just return it. But I really like this product. These two together are such a gorgeous combination for fall and winter. In the winter, my skin gets really dry here in Colorado. And one thing that I love, my mom got this for me as a gift, and I actually got one for my friend as a gift because it's such a beautiful, beautiful product. It's the Laura Mercier Creme Brulee Souffle Body Cream. And this is pricey. I think it's about $60 for a whole jar of this, but it will last you at least a year. I'm not kidding. You literally like applying like a custard or butter to your skin. It is so thick and moisturizing and it smells so good it smells like a sweet creme brulee it will go with anything because it has that vanilla scent that's just but a pretty grown-up version of vanilla scent not like lip smackers vanilla scent okay this is a beautiful product and it will go with any fragrance or I've been able to wear it with any fragrance because it doesn't clash it just smells really nice and my favorite way to apply this is right after I get out of the bath I will apply it all over my skin 
and let it sink in overnight and my skin is so moisturized the next day. The next product is this Diptyque Vetiverio perfume. This is so gorgeous. I can't even explain it. It's so, such a beautiful, soft, sexy scent. Eau de Toilette, which I usually don't like. I usually only like Eau de Parfum, but this lasts really well and it smells beautiful. It's just a light, pretty scent. So clearly the main note in this is vetiver, but it has some Turkish rose and pepper geranium in it as well. So it doesn't smell too much of that fresh, crisp, kind of grass-like scent. It smells very feminine and soft and just beautiful. I cannot describe it. It's just an incredible scent. Just take my word for it. Try it. If you don't like it, you can return it, but I think it's a beautiful scent. Now I will say, my friend who works in fragrance is like the guru of mixing fragrances. He will mix like three different fragrances from different brands and come out smelling like the most amazing thing you've ever smelled. And I know a lot of people who can do that. I cannot do that. When I was using this in its tester form or a little sample, because I always use samples of perfumes before I buy them just to make sure that I really like it. So I was using this as a tester and we were in Rome and I got ready for an event and I was like, I'm going to mix some fragrances. So I mixed like this with two other floral fragrances and I did not smell good. Okay. This weird body odor like it was so bad. This body odor like scent. And what do you do? You have your hair and makeup done. It's time to go. I was probably like five minutes late already knowing me. But I mean, you just have to go and be like, sorry, I smell strange. I thought I was creative and could mix a billion fragrances. It didn't work out. And my friend can mix this with things. I don't know how he does it, but on its own, this is hands down my favorite fragrance right now. Okay, last but not least, I have some accessories. So I've been following HRH Collection. I love her YouTube videos. I think she's really funny and just a funny person to listen to. She has great style, but I love her bracelets that she makes, her jewelry. She makes necklaces and rings. But well. I finally pulled the trigger and I ordered these bracelets and they are so beautiful. So I will have the names of these down um, in my blog so that you can see, but I just want to make sure I get them right so I'm not going to say them on camera. So go to my blog, look for the name, and I will have the correct name and color and everything of these items. So the first is this chain, thick chain bracelet with leather woven in between. I love this because it reminds me of Chanel. Um, it's just a beautiful looking bracelet. And then I got these three, and they're two different sizes. This is the larger size. It's like a teardrop, iridescent, beautiful crystal on a silver chain and there's a smaller one that's that beautiful iridescent on a silver chain. So two iridescents on a silver chain. One's larger and one's smaller and they just are so pretty. They catch the light. They look like there are a million different colors. They're gorgeous. And then I got another one of the tiny ones but this one is a mint colored tiny teardrop stone on a silver chain. So the mint one is almost like, it almost glows. It's really beautiful. And nothing I show you on camera is going to compare to how they look in person. But they're just so stunning, right? And to stack these three together, I love that. So these I've been really loving. I'm really glad that I went ahead and bought them. Um, after waiting so long, <laughs> but I will put her information down below so you can go check those out as well. I paid for these. I'm not being sponsored. Um, these are honestly just items I really love. And also, I guess I want to say now that my video is done, if, if you're done watching, you can, um, close out of this. But I do want to say there was a girl who came out in the news and she was making a really big deal about the fact that she didn't feel like she was living an authentic life on her social media. And I try to be professional um, on social media. I don't want to get too personal or anything like that, but sometimes 
it's just in my nature. I, I really love being able to be honest and genuine with you guys. I never want you guys to feel like I'm pushing a product at you or I'm being sponsored or anything like that. Honestly, everything I've mentioned, let's see, I was given the skincare, I was given the blush, and other than that, I mean, I wasn't paid to make this video or anything. I These are just items I really love and I want you guys to know about because when I started my blog and my social media, it started as me wanting an outlet because I, I genuinely love this stuff and I want to talk to you guys as friends and recommend things as I would friends. It's so upsetting when I hear that because I think that some people might do that, but that's their own fault. That's what they've made out of the experience. I want my experience and your experience to be authentic, and I hope that I do that every day. Um, I try to be really honest with you guys. I turn down a lot, a lot of projects and opportunities because I just don't like the product, I don't like the item, or I don't feel it connects with me. And of course, my dogs are fighting again. Girls, stop, come here. Come here, who wants to be on camera? Come here. Okay, stop fighting down there. Scarlet really lives an authentic life. Um, I don't know, I just think that you can make it what you want. And what I want is to be able to just sit down and talk to you guys on camera or write on my blog and be really honest. And I think that's important. I like sharing my experiences with you guys and that's what I want to do. So I hope that none of you feel that way and when you read things like that, don't believe it because I know a lot of women and men in this industry who are really genuine and who are living an authentic life and genuinely want to share and be creative just like I do. So um, I think it was really unfair for that girl to kind of pin her weird experience on the whole industry. I, I just don't think that's right. But um, anyway, I'm glad that she is finding herself or created a Kickstarter or some fund. I don't know. That's strange. Anyway, I think there's some weird issues going on there. But um, thank you so much for watching my video. Again, all the links, all the details will be on thecashmeregypsy.com. I would love it if you would go and leave a comment letting me know that you're coming from YouTube and if you would subscribe to my website. There's a little button and you can just type in your email and each time I post, you'll get a notification. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.